So a few months ago, I made a video on how to get 1440p at 120Hz output with VRR on a 2020 Samsung QLED TV. But since then, there have been some major improvements. Now, with the latest NVIDIA drivers, you can get 4K at 120Hz with VRR FreeSync enabled on your Samsung QLED TV. And the best part is, you can do this even without an HDMI 2.1 port. So as you can see, we are running at 4K 120Hz, FreeSync enabled, but it's plugged in into the HDMI 1 port, which is an HDMI 2.0 port on the TV. And everything is running off the RTX 2070. So the graphics card itself doesn't even have an HDMI 2.1 port, which is kind of required for 4K at 120Hz. Pretty insane, right? And if you are wondering, this is the 55-inch Samsung Q80T QLED TV. So the thing is, if you have a 2020 Samsung QLED TV with a 120Hz refresh rate panel, and if you've got a PC with an RTX 2000 series card, now you can run the TV at 4K at 120Hz resolution with G-Sync slash VRR enabled on your TV without the need of an HDMI 2.1 port graphics card. Awesome, right? Let me show you how to enable this. Alright, so before we begin, I'm assuming that you have connected your TV to the PC using a high-speed HDMI cable without using any adapters. And secondly, that you are running the latest version of the NVIDIA driver. This is very important because the latest version of the NVIDIA driver will unlock the 4K at 120Hz out over HDMI 2.0. So at the time of filming this video, I'm running the GeForce Game Ready Driver version 460.89. And also make sure that you are running the latest version of firmware on your TV. Open up the menu, go to settings, then go to support, then go to software update. As you can see, I'm running the 1461 firmware. Now this firmware has a major bug in it. It kind of breaks the HDMI 2.1 compatibility. I will talk more about this in another video. But for now, this is the firmware that I've got on the TV. All right, so with the prerequisite checks complete, we're gonna start off by making a few changes to the settings on the TV. So grab your Samsung TV remote and press the home button to open up the menu. So the first thing that we are going to do is change the HDMI input tag to PC. This will tell the TV that there's a PC plugged in on the other side and it will adjust the settings accordingly. So open up the menu and go to sources and select this icon. Now it says your PC because the TV has changed it automatically, but if it does not, Go to edit and make sure that the device icon is set to PC. The second thing that you want to change on your TV is enable input signal plus for the HDMI port where you have plugged in your PC. So once again, open up the menu and go to settings, then go to general and then go to external device manager and then go to input signal plus and enable this for the HDMI port where you have plugged in your computer. I have plugged in my computer into the first HDMI port. So I have turned on Input Signal Plus for the HDMI 1 port. And the final thing that we are going to do is turn on Game Mode. Game Mode enables the VRR or FreeSync Ultimate on the TV. So Game Mode is right over here in the External Device Manager. We will just switch this one on. So those are the three important settings that you need to tweak on the TV. Now, even though Game Mode is turned on and we have switched on Input Signal Plus, the TV is still running in 4K at 60Hz as you can see and just confirming game mode is switched on right over here. So this is because we need to make some changes in the NVIDIA control panel. So now let's move on to the NVIDIA control panel and I will show you exactly what you need to do to get 4K at 120Hz working with VRR. So now on your computer you will need to open up the NVIDIA control panel. Right click on the desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have the control panel option here, search it in the start menu. So inside the NVIDIA control panel, you will need to go to change resolution and over here, scroll down to the part where it says PC and you will see two new options. So previously when I recorded the video, the 3840 into 2160 under PC were not there. So when I select this, you can see the 120 Hertz refresh rate is already there. And that's it, just click on apply. And that's it. Now the TV is running at 4K at 120Hz. And if I press the home button, you guys can see we are running at 4K 120Hz. Also, you might have noticed the TV is not showing FreeSync. So we will need to enable FreeSync by going into the G-Sync settings. 
So go to set up G-Sync and make sure that you tick this box which says enable setting for the selected display model. Now this TV is not compatible with G-Sync, it's a FreeSync TV, but these new Nvidia drivers work fine with FreeSync because this TV has FreeSync Ultimate. So now if I press the middle button on the remote, it says FreeSync VRR is running. The TV is running at 4K at 120 Hz. So that's how easy it is to get 4K 120 Hz with VRR running with a non-HDMI 2.1 Nvidia graphics card. Pretty awesome, right? And the difference between 60 and 120 Hz is very noticeable. Everything from scrolling on web pages to gaming and even your mouse cursor will feel a lot smoother. Let me fire up some games and let me show you FreeSync in action. So this is Dota 2. Everything maxed out, it's running at 4K. And check this out, even this sort of a game brings the RTX 2070 down to its knees. So we are averaging around 100 FPS and the frame rate does dip down to 70 when there's a lot of action. So the thing is, you do need a fairly powerful graphics card to actually put out 120 FPS consistently at 4K resolution. And obviously you cannot actually tell that the TV is running at 120Hz just by watching this video because I'm recording this video at 60FPS. And moreover, YouTube does not support 120FPS frame rate. And you can see, FreeSync is in action, the TV is constantly adjusting its refresh rate to match the frame rate that the graphics card is putting out. So that's why you won't see any screen tearing on the TV. Now one thing I want to say that you do need a fairly powerful graphics card if you want to output 120 FPS consistently at 4K resolution. So here I have Grand Theft Auto 5 running. The game is at low to medium settings and the RTX 2070 is giving us about 106 FPS. It kind of fluctuates between 80 and 120 FPS. By the way, VSync is off. And because we have FreeSync on this TV, there is absolutely no screen tearing. But yeah, bottom line is you do need a fairly powerful graphics card if you want to play games at 4K 120 FPS consistently. So guys, it's been about two days since I have been running the TV at 4K 120 Hz and everything is working perfectly fine. Just playing Borderlands right now and it's actually running at 4K with VRR enabled. And I actually left the game mode turned on all the time. So even when I was browsing the internet and working on Windows, VRR or FreeSync was turned on and everything worked perfectly fine. So the thing is, now you no longer have to change the resolution manually whenever you want to work in Windows. Just leave the settings as it is. You can even leave game mode turned on. So game mode is turned on, FreeSync is on and I can continue working in Windows and there are no side effects of this. Everything works perfectly fine. And I have been browsing the web, creating documents, working in PowerPoint, and I'm actually quite surprised at how sharp the text is even though we are not using Chroma 444 subsampling. So now you may ask, what is the catch behind this? How am I able to run 4K at 120Hz with FreeSync without an HDMI 2.1 port? Well. Check this out. If I bring my camera up close, it says output color format YCBCR420. So because of the bandwidth limit on HDMI 2.0, to get that 120Hz output, the graphics card is not able to display full RGB color output. And that is perfectly fine for watching movies, playing games, but if you are working on a text document, then you will notice that the text is slightly blurry. Now this is not a major issue. I have been working on text document and they look perfectly fine. But yeah, you do sacrifice Chroma 444 instead. You are running at 4 is to 2 is to 0. And in addition to this, you will not be able to turn on HDR. So if we go to the display settings, if I turn on HDR, it just does not work. That's because the bandwidth is not enough for HDR to work on the HDMI 2.0 port. Now, if you open up the built-in e-manual on the TV and if you go to supported resolution for UHD input signals, it says here for 55 inch or larger models, QLED TV except for the Q60T model, this TV which is the Q80T does support RGB 444 10-bit color at 120Hz on the 4th HDMI port. So the thing is, if you have a graphics card with an HDMI 2.1 out, you will be able to get RGB 444 which is the full chroma color at 10-bit 120Hz on the 4th HDMI port on this TV. 
but that functionality is broken right now because of the defective firmware. And check this out, I did buy an RTX 3000 series card. So yes, stay tuned, a review of the AORUS RTX 3070 is coming up very soon. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that this TV does support 120Hz RGB 444. So yeah, once Samsung fixes the firmware on the TV, I will show you how the full HDMI 2.1 120Hz experience with RGB 444 with HDR is like on the Q80T. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit the like and subscribe for more content. And let me know how this 4K 120Hz works on your computer. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys in the next video.